So in video games, most games can have multiple floppy disks, multiple optical disks. Sometimes there's lots of translations or ROM hacks, and that can really clutter up your library. Suddenly a library of 300 games can turn into 600, 700, 800 in LaunchBox. So that is why Jason recently developed the merging of ROMs and unmerging of ROMs as well inside of LaunchBox. So today on Unbroken Software Studio Tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use the brand new ROM merging and ROM unmerging feature inside of LaunchBox. So for those of you who have imported a system and for whatever reason, uh, LaunchBox didn't combine your games automatically because the verbiage was slightly off. So for example, my game here, uh, Undeadline, none of these combined because the verbiage is slightly off. Uh, I have a translated version of the system disk, but disk A and disk B uh, are, are not translated. They should be the originals. Uh, so... LaunchBox just didn't import them because the verbiage was slightly off. Or if you've already imported your uh, system before this merging feature existed, uh, we can manually merge uh, games in our library. So I'm going to take 38 man kilo here and I'm going to click on the first entry. I'm going to hold on to shift and I'm going to go to the last game on this list and then I'm going to click on it as well. That will highlight from the first one I clicked to the last one I clicked. Or if you would rather use control and click on each individual game to highlight them all. Once you have your games highlighted, right click a game and go down to combine selected games. In this window here from the drop down, go ahead and select the game that you want to have facing forward or the game that you would you want to have on top or the first disc in a set. So I want disc one of four to be the first disc that shows up uh, inside of LaunchBox. So in this drop down, I'm going to select the first disc and then click OK. Depending on how many games you're trying to combine, that process can take uh, some time, but it shouldn't take uh, it shouldn't take long at all. So now when we right click 38 man kilo, you can see discs one through four imported and merged in this single entry. And if we double click this entry, it will by default load up disc one of four. Maybe you're trying to clean up your uh, system of duplicates, trying to figure out what you have missing. Well, you can also perform the merging feature from the audits menu. So let's go to tools. Audit Sharp X68000. Now, the audit process can take upwards of several minutes depending on the size of your uh, system. Um, I've seen it take up to 10 minutes for really large systems, uh, but for the most part, it should be a fairly quick process. Now, this isn't a tutorial on how to use the audit system specifically, but we can come in here and notice that, say, a, a Russia de Iku right here. This should be combined, but because the verbiage is slightly off, there is disc one of four, two of four, three of four, four of four, but then there's appendages, the user disc, disc A, disc B, disc C, shin map. And so, I mean, it's just different ways that the, um, the verbiage has been ordered just to kind of denote what's what. Uh, personally, I thought disc one of four, two of four, three of four, four of four would be enough, but more verbiage and LaunchBox doesn't necessarily know what to do with that. So we can click on the first game in this list, hit shift, click on the last game, and it will highlight all of the games in that order, like we did inside of LaunchBox. Or you can click on control and click on each individual game that you would want to import. From here, we can right click, combine selected games, and then we would select the same thing as we did inside of LaunchBox. Let's select the facing disk. And I want disk one of four to be the facing disk. So we'll go ahead and click OK. It will take a second to go ahead and combine like it did inside of LaunchBox. And then there we go. Games have been successfully combined. So now instead of four entries for this game, we now have one. And then, of course, you can go ahead and do this to multiple games. So 
we have these several games here. I don't know what the differences are. It doesn't necessarily specify multiple discs, but it could be multiple discs or different versions of a game. So I'm gonna go ahead and select combine anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and select the one without an A and then click OK. So there are many different reasons why you could want to combine games. It may not necessarily be that there are multiple discs of a game. Uh, it could just be that you have multiple versions or ROM hacks or, or translations or things like that. Something that you want to just combine all into one entry to make it a cleaner experience. Once you have combined or expanded the, the games that you do want to combine or expand, go ahead and click close and LaunchBox will go ahead and save these changes and apply the updates to your library. So let's say you also were manually combining some things and you accidentally combined an extra game. Say uh, 38 Man Kilo also had a fourth unit act two combined into it on accident. Go ahead and right click the entry, go down to expand selected games, and it will tell you that you're going to separate the games into separate entities. Click, go ahead and click yes. And then LaunchBox will also go ahead and perform the expansion like it did the merging. Once it refreshes, it'll tell you one game has been turned into four, and then either you can go ahead and fix the error, or you can go ahead and, and leave it as is. So now I have a bunch of new ZX Spectrum games or ZX Spectrum games uh, downloaded that I want to import into LaunchBox. So let's go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. So I'm gonna select my games folder to import, then we're gonna click Next. I'm going to name it Sinclair ZX Spectrum, uh, the emulator, use their, using their current location, uh, pretty much a regular import. But when you come to this screen, combine ROMs with matching titles into a single game should automatically be checked. If you don't want it to, to combine during import, go ahead and uncheck, then you can run through the audit process later and combine the games manually if you would like, but obviously that would take uh, a lot more time. Uh, but for the most part, we can go ahead and just check the combine ROMs with matching titles into a single game for the import. This way it will cut down on the amount of work that you have. Um, so it'll, it'll automatically combine what it can find. But then, you know, later on, if there's an error or whatever, you want to combine something manually, you do have that option. It, letting the, the importer automatically combine your games, uh, it shouldn't combine games that don't need to be combined. Uh, personal preference, obviously, may, may be what it is. But this, for the most part, should cut down on the amount of work that you have. And so just to make this import process faster, I uh, made sure to uncheck all of the image boxes for the LaunchBox games database and emo movies. Uh, of course, I can go ahead and update that after I've imported the games. Uh, but for now, just to make things go much smoother, much faster for this import, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let it import without any media. Okay, so for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this import because there are 27,000 games or 23,000 games in that uh, library that I want to import. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes to keep all of the games that have been successfully imported thus far. 845 games were imported successfully. Now, it didn't specify this time uh, how many games. Uh, items or ROMs there were, and then how many actual uh, games it shows now. So it said it, it, it imported 845, and there's no telling uh, how many games or ROMs it would have been beforehand. But I, I let that import go for about 10 minutes, and it got through 845 games. And if we start looking at some of these games, you you start to realize that holy crap. Okay, yeah. Uh, lots of multiple versions of games, way too many to count. So there we go. That is how you use the ROM merging and expanding features recently introduced into LaunchBox. That's how you manually merge and unmerge or expand. And that's how you let LaunchBox automatically merge during an import. My name is Brad. If you liked this tutorial, then please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials and content in the future. 
If you are one of our Patreon producers, then your name is now on screen, and thank you very much. If you'd like to get your name inside of the videos and the Launchbox application, or support us at any one of our other tiers for different perks at different monetary levels, then head on over to our Patreon link in the description below. Pick the tier you're most comfortable with, and every dollar you give us helps us create a better product, and we couldn't thank you enough. Because of your support, we can continue to do what we do. Like I said, my name is Brad, the link to my channel is below. If you like gaming content, then head on over there and subscribe for more fun. I have been saying that I've been working on revamping my channel. I'm still in the process of doing that, but some stuff should be going up this weekend. Remember, freaks and geeks, to play more games, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.